Greetings YouTube and welcome to a video that if you go back to the bowels of my channel I have not made in over a year? You're talking about a nickname for me that should be something like Blue Jeans because my goodness have I been slacking. Uh, that ends today though. So we are going to cover a updated guide on how I get the infinite streak in Essentially, it's the equivalent of the four-star featured arena because when you look at this Catalyst Clash basic, and you can see that I, in only 33 matches, achieved 2 million points and got the max rewards, which of course, now that they have been somewhat updated in the past year, is not one but two tier four basic catalysts. I, uh, I know what it takes, and I have been doing my best to achieve this quote-unquote infinite streak long before I had the five-star roster that I do now. There are going to be people who give you different advice than this video, and that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to tell you what works for me. I have not done you know, hours of research asking around to see all of the different methods that people use, because in general, if a method that I use works, why would I try something else? But if this doesn't work for you because you may not have the roster for it, then maybe there's another guide out there that's going to meet your needs. This is going to be a little bit longer of a video than normal. I, I like to keep most of my videos to around five minutes, but in order to kind of explain everything up to, say, round 20, I want to take the time necessary, and I think for this, it's just best to show you my uh, roster, both of the five and four star variety. And so this is what my five star roster looks like now, but I'm actually going to start by discussing my four star roster because you see before round 11, before I get to a win streak of 10, I only use my four star roster and my roster has evolved in terms of my strategy to get the most points possible because if you are like anybody who does the arena. You want to get the most points, which means you do the least amount of fights to get to those milestones. You've got things to do. You've got a busy life. Some of you watching this have spouses and kids and second, third jobs. You don't have time to spend 10 hours in the arena. So this is what I do in order to get that infinite streak and the 2 million points. And I'll kind of talk about how it evolved. If you were watching this and you're like I was starting out, you mostly have four stars. And those four stars range from rank three to rank four to maybe some rank fives. What I like to do is I like to start off by having my rank three four stars. And I always tell summoners, if you want to just get a better arena team, rank three all four stars at minimum. And then if there are certain four stars you really like having fun playing with, take them to rank four. And then if there are champions you're actually going to use in, say, act four or act five, etc., then you're going to take those four stars to rank five. But you can see I have so many four stars at my disposal. And because my mastery setup is so awesome in terms of the way it's geared for PI in the arena, most of these champions are well above 3,500 PI. And so I just do a combination of three of these rank three four stars for essentially the first five to maybe six rounds of the tier four basic arena. And that gets me a good rhythm. I have a lot of fun. So many awesome champions from Omega Red to Sentinel, Darkhawk, Aegon, etc., Cold Obsidian. And then once I get to like round six and seven, I kind of like to use some of my rank four, four stars. I have this awesome arena team that I think is really fun with Venom, OG, Spidey, and Electro, or Gwenpool, Howard the Duck, and Rocket Raccoon. I, uh, I just really enjoy those. But what I've been doing lately, because I have the roster now, is I used to save these teams for the hardest four deathmatch quote-unquote rounds, which is typically rounds 11 through 15. It gets you to a win 15. So from the time that you get to a win streak of 10 to a win streak of 15, you're going to have the toughest matches. But because my five-star roster is now so awesome, especially in terms of rank five and rank four five stars, I get to use those in those rounds. But maybe a lot of people watching this don't have that luxury, which I'm guessing is the, the norm for the quote-unquote middle class of MCLC. Well, there are two ways you can do this. I personally have fun with my arena teams and I use my rank five four stars to get to a win streak of 10. If that is not you, 
and you want to save your best rank five four stars to just keep up your infinite streak, you can do what's called the three star hot dog method, or at least that's what I'm calling it. So when we go to the three star roster, I take two three stars that I am 100% confident, no matter who the game matches me up with, I can win that fight. So it might be Quake and Cole Obsidian, it might be Ghost Rider and Blade, Archangel, Iceman, Omega Red, Hyperion, the list goes on and on. Two out of three of the champions in matches in rounds 11 through 14, essentially, to get to a win streak of 15. I'll take two of those three stars, and then I pair them with just any one of my one stars. That's going to put the Kabam algorithm able to give you matchups that are favorable for two out of three of the fights and should get you about an even playing field for those two three stars. Now, chances are what I do just to save time is I just force quit that one matchup with the one star. Could I win it? Maybe, but it's not worth the time in. It's such a small amount of points, and all you care about is winning two out of three of the fights to get that winning streak to 12, 13, 14, and then ultimately 15. Now, sometimes when I see summoners get to that magic win streak of 15, they'll make the mistake of immediately going to, say, rank three, four stars. That is a huge mistake. Okay? For rounds 15 through 18, but to be safe, more like rounds 15 through 20, I would use a combination of my best five star champions. And again, I know my roster is stacked. And a lot of people do not have the roster that you see in front of you. But let's say you mostly have rank three five stars, right? Maybe you've got five stars that are hovering around 7,000 PI, six to 7,000 PI. You can save those and use them for rounds 15 through 20 to get that infinite streak up. Or that's also the time, as I said before, if you do the hot dog cheese matchup with the three stars that you can use combinations of hopefully your rank five and eventually even your rank four four stars assuming their pi is above four thousand now at any time i would not recommend that you use a team comprised with anyone that is all below four thousand so a way that i get around this if that sounds confusing once i get to that infinite streak i will take a five star let's say i'm going to use Emma Frost, who's at rank three. I'm going to pair Emma Frost with two weaker five stars that are at rank one, and they're going to be in the 3,000 range. Let's say I'm going to do Spider-Man Symbiote and Green Goblin, who have a synergy, so I know they're going to get a slightly more boost. I would also recommend that you kind of start playing around with your arena teams and you see what two champions have a synergy bonus to get you bonus points. This is, of course, also a great opportunity if you have boosts that are expiring to use those boosts once you get that max uh, infinite streak, especially if you've saved your five stars for the most points possible to get even more bonus points because the less fights I can save you and the less grinding in the arena, the better I have done my job as a Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel. So I do that, but notice... I have taken enough five stars above the PI of 4,000 that I will not ever put a five star team below Winter Soldier. And really, I like to keep it below Ebony Flaw here, or Ebony Cold Slaw, as I like to call him because he's so disappointing. But I will not take a trio. If I do like Night Thrasher, Taskmaster, and Invisible Woman, I'm setting myself up to get that death match even if I have a win streak above 20. So keep in mind, if you don't have that many five stars and most of yours are at rank one, you're going to want to do the same thing. You're going to take two five stars that are that the PI is between maybe 3,000 and 3,500, and you're going to pair them with a four star that's safely, hopefully above at least 4,000, but ideally more like this guillotine here that's around 4,600. You want the combined total to be at least above 10 to 11,000. That is a safe. In a perfect world, it would be at 12,000 and above where each one of your uh, arena team members is 4,000 PI and above. But if you can't make that happen, getting that, say, rank three, rank four, or certainly rank five, four or five star, and pairing them with two lesser heroes, especially five stars, you should be just fine. So 
Quick overview. Fights rounds one through five, I use rank three four stars. Fights rounds uh, six through eight, rank four four stars. Eight through ten, rank five four stars. Rounds 11 through 15, I have the luxury of using rank four and rank five five stars. But for most people, it's either going to be your rank five four stars or it's going to be that method of two of your best three stars that are maxed with the one star. Once you get to a win streak of 15, you're going to want to use your best remaining champions or wait two hours for your best four stars to refresh and then never have a team even past a win streak of 20 that is below about 11,000 combined PI. This was a fast video. My goal was 15 minutes for this, and I look, I'm looking at my clock, and it says it's about 11, so I think it's a good place to stop. Thanks for watching, YouTube. I hope that this guide helped you out. Good luck in the arena grind. May you get maximum points to spend as little time as possible actually in the arena.